The following video was produced by middle schooler Connor Brady of Green River. The video was produced as part of a volunteer project and was produced, written, and recorded by Connor Brady. We hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching. Hi, my name is Connor. I'm here at the Sweetwater County Museum and I will be telling you about Lake Gosu and how this 45 million year old lake affects you today. Corona is a type of sediment mineral. It is formed when lakes dry up. We get it by mining the old lake beds. These lake beds could be anywhere from 800 to 3,500 feet below the surface. Many other civilizations have found Trona and used it thousands of years before us. These civilizations include the Egyptians and the Romans. This is a picture of Trona. It is very common here and you can even call Southwest Wyoming the Trona capital of the world. When Lake Gosu was still a lake, it held minerals needed to make Trona. So when the lake evaporated, only these minerals were left. Today, Trona is very helpful for making things like baking soda, glass, paper, and even laundry detergent. This is baking soda. It is very common in the average kitchen. A lot of you have probably seen it in your own kitchen before. Lake Gosu was in southwest Wyoming. Here you can see a map of southwest Wyoming and Lake Gosu. You can see it covering Green River and a lot of the surrounding areas. It was formed over 45 million years ago. This would have been in the Eocene Epoch. I will give you an extra information. Pause the video if you'd like to read it. The Trona material in the lake was so highly dense which made it unpleasant for animals and bacteria to live in. If you have ever tasted Trona, you know that it does not taste very good. The animals could handle this, but the bacteria could not. Here's a drawing of how the lake used to look like. In it, you can see a giant crocodile. The bacteria chose not to live in this lake. Bacteria help decompose animals when they die. Since there was no bacteria to do this job, the animal bodies stacked up one by one. After millions of years, the lake eventually dried up, leaving behind the fossils. In the 1860s, the Union Pacific Railroad played a major part in discovering fish fossils. The workers of the railroad were amazed when they found millions of fish fossils in the ground when they sliced through the sedimentary rock. This is a fish fossil. It was from Lake Gosu. Today, you can find fish turtle, and snail shells from this lake. Looking at the dry desert and Green River, it's hard to imagine that there were hundreds of dinosaur-like creatures swimming around. This has happened in Africa, China, Turkey, and Mexico too. Thanks for watching.